So have you ever wanted to see Godzilla vs. Wolverine or Godzilla vs. Thanos or a Godzilla symbiote maybe? I know you have. Well, technically, it's not outside the realm of possibility with the introduction of this guy. Hi, and welcome back to the inside of my head where anyone who's been following the channel recently knows that I've been doing a bit of Marvel stuff lately. But here's where I'm pulling it back into giant robot and kaiju territory with this guy. And this is Toddzilla, whose name is undoubtedly a joke on Marvel's behalf and a nod to the king of the kaiju, Godzilla. Toddzilla's story starts in the 2015 comic called New Avengers, when superhero Sunspot took over AIM, which stands for Avengers Ideas Mechanics, and turned it into a group dedicated to international rescue ops. However, Technically being a rogue outfit full of mad scientists in the eyes of the US government, their activities soon disgruntled the US military, who put together an operation or a task force you might call it called Project Troubleshooter, headed up by General Maverick. Now General Maverick's first order of duty is to recreate the super soldier serum, and unsure of exactly how to make this serum, his boffs hack together a mixture of gamma radiation, mutant growth hormone, pin particles, and Kurt Connor's lizard formula. Rawr. They load it up into a syringe and jam it into the neck of this guy, Corporal Todd Ziller. Now this guy don't got a lot in the way of backstory, but we do know that he loves his country and that he's hard as nails. So they blast him with the gamma radiation and dose him full of serum, and because of the pin particles he grows massively in size, and because of the lizard formula his appearance changes to this. And yes, he turns into this 40 story high lizard with bulging guns and covered in the stars and stripes, and is constantly yelling USA. I mean, I can almost hear the ACDC as he's stomping around. It's obviously meant to be a humorous take on the Godzilla character, but also nationalism and patriotism, I guess. So they unleash him on this here AIM base on this here island, because at this stage AIM are sheltering a character called Rick Jones who's being hunted by S.H.I.E.L.D. But these guys counter in kind and fire up this guy. This is Avenger 5. Apparently it's controlled by six pilots linking minds and controlling it remotely, and it was sent out to primarily buy time for the Avengers to evacuate their island. Now in this battle, American Kaiju gets the upper hand quite easily here, until Avenger 5 manages to grab both its arms and vent its reactor core, which is powered by gamma radiation. The reactor core seems to be under its head that just pops up like a... What are those things called again? Pews? Is it pews? I think you mean Pez. Pogs? Pez. Pugs? Pez. Pixie sticks? For fuck's sake. Yes, they're called pixie sticks. I knew it. What do I even ask you for? Because you're incredibly sad and lonely and too lazy to Google stuff. This triggers American Kaiju's transformation, and before you know it, he's back in human form. Which begs the question, how is his transformation actually controlled? Is it like Hulk, where he has to like calm down, or it just wears off? Or he gets another shot of like an antidote, and it brings him back down to human form? How is it supposed to work? But that said, Toddzilla seems to be in a lot more control of American Kaiju than Bruce Banner is of Hulk. So maybe when his mission is complete, and he just goes to the chill-out lounge and waits for the drugs to wear off, and listens to some ambient music. Anyway, about a year later, AIM has rebranded as the American Anyway, about a year later, AIM rebranded as American Intelligence Mechanics. General Maverick joined the team as the Red Hulk, and Zilla, without his powers, travels to Lichtenbad, where he teamed up with Victor Van Doom to perfect a monster serum, using the traces that were still found in Zilla's body. As a reward for helping him reverse engineer the serum, Van Doom transforms Zilla back into American Kaiju and sends him out to fight Red Hulk. The battle starts out in Zilla's favor with him stomping Red Hulk flat, according to Deadpool anyway, before Red Hulk manages to grab him by the tail and throws him into a castle that was probably of historical and cultural significance, but hey, fuck it. Knocked out, Zilla turns back into a human and is arrested by Cap or something, who cares? Basically, this isn't really a proper story with Zilla, a kind of a small part of a Red Hulk anthology as far as I can tell. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, don't- how much time do you think I have? Time do you think I have? And finally, we arrive at the appearance that I'm most interested in, and that's his involvement in the King in Black event and Null's invasion of Earth. Because surely an enormous, building-sized pile of muscle and aggression would have come in handy when taking down, I don't know, this for example. If you didn't see my Null video, and hey, not many people did, this is what happens when Null symbiote dragons merge together, because they're just not badass enough, I guess. But could you imagine American Kaiju coming up against this guy? That would be amazing! But I guess they're both in different locations, you know, at different parts of the globe, so they never come into contact. But American Kaiju is unleashed upon the hordes of symbiote dragons and makes absolute mincemeat out of them. He chomps down on them, instantly bursting them and liquefying them. 
He squishes them with his claws and even picks up a train and swings it around to muller them. But before you can say, damn, this is way too easy, they need to come up with a stronger bad guy to properly showcase this guy's power and provide an actual threat to him, this thing shows up and it's a much larger two-headed symbiote dragon. And I think they missed a trick here, like if this whole thing is a homage to Godzilla, then they really should have made this a three-headed dragon, if you're... No, I'm saying. No, I'm, you see what I'm getting out here? Ghidorah! I'm talking about Ghidorah, for God's sake. Anyway, Zilla kills the dragon by first biting off one of its heads, then jamming this down its throat, and boom! We're done. No more two-headed dragon. <laughs> it's a battle that was a little short-lived and a little disappointing in many ways, as my hopes were quite high that throwing Godzilla into the King in Black event could have been absolutely epic, but they obviously weren't that interested in pushing it into that direction. So until now, we haven't really seen that much of Godzilla and American Kaiju. He only seems to pop up in small glimpses here and there, and they haven't really devoted any time or actual writing to this character. At first, I was thinking that this is just a kind of a joke character, being a ripoff in everything but name. As, especially as he just constantly yells, USA, in his monster form. It's literally the only thing he says. It reminds me of that kid from Cabin Fever. In the King in Black story, he's treated a bit more seriously though, with the character seemingly questioning whether he is still human or whether he has become a monster in the figurative sense as well as the physical sense, but the character is just really flat and two-dimensional. I did also wonder if calling him Toddzilla, almost poking fun at the fact that they're copying the Toho character, really pins them into a corner on this one. As from here on forward, it's going to be hard to see the character as anything but an homage. If they did ever want to give him a proper storyline, that is. Maybe they should have just called him Dave Smith or something and have him be his own character and leave the similarity to the Big G as more of a subtle nod that never actually needed to be stated. And as for the big question of who would win in a fight between the actual Godzilla and this guy... There really is no question. I mean, aside from the fact that this guy doesn't have the atomic breath that the Big G has, I really find it hard to imagine that this guy could go any more than one round with the Big G. But let me know what you think. Personally, I quite like this guy. He looks awesome, and I'd love to see Godzilla go up against more superpowered beings. We could see Wolverine versus Godzilla. We could see Godzilla versus Thanos. Or how about a Kaiju Buster Iron Man suit? I mean, the possibilities are endless. But unless they treat the character seriously, it's hard to take it seriously.